In this video, we'll be going over advanced alert settings. Let's place an alert on the screen. Additional options on an alert can be specified from the advanced tab. So let's click the advanced tab. And let's start with time and force. Now this section here allows you to set an expiry date and time for an alert. And optionally, you can define times of day when the alert is active. So the first line here, you can select the time zone. If you select use default, it will pick the time zone that you presently have Motive Wave set to in your configure preferences. In this case, I'm going to leave it as is. For the expires line, this sets the expiration date and time. So if we enable it, if I want this to expire, let's say at four o'clock today, I can then select four o'clock. Now you can also have sessions. So for example, let's say and I wanted two sessions during the day or I had two sessions in the day where the alert, I want the alert to be active. So for instance, if I wanted the alert to be active from 9 a.m. to let's say 1 p.m. and then I want to take a break for whatever reason and then I decided to have the second session kick in at 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock. So now we can designate either a session or two sessions. So session one would be the primary session and then the session two would be the secondary session. Now let's take a look at display. Let's click OK first. So now we have our alert. It's here on the chart and placed in our alert panel. And if we bring the properties back up again, edit alert, and we click on advanced, you'll notice by default, the alert alignment is set to the right. If we change this to the left and then click OK, we now have it to the left. So let's edit the alert again, advanced, and we can also select middle, which would place it right in the center here. So let's go back to the right. For color, we have a default color. We can change that. Let's say we want to make it an orange. And we want to remove the cancel button. Actually, let me show you the cancel button first. So this is the cancel button, the yellow background with the C. And this is the label in orange. So if I now right click and edit alert, let's go back. You notice that the color, this orange color here, replaced the default color and I replaced it also in the alert panel as well as in the label here for the alert. So if we decide to uncheck show cancel button and then click on the chart, you'll notice the cancel button is now gone. Let's go back, advanced. If we decide to remove the label and then click, you'll notice now that the label's gone. So let's edit the alert. Select it, click on edit, go back to advanced. Now the only thing showing is the line. If we take off the line and let's say we put the label back, we now have just the label. Okay, so that's it for advanced alert settings and we'll see you in the next video.